Anywhere on campus, the towers of the Westside Wastewater Treatment Plant can be seen. Tuesday night's Common Council Committee meeting brought to light the fact that the plant is near capacity and any further construction within city limits could surpass the plant's current capacity. The committee was split two to two with different views on how to handle the possible issue of a wastewater surge. Councillor Michael Myers said that although the Westside plant is able to accept the wastewater from SUNY Oswego, he has his own solution to the overflow problem. Uh, to reach an agreement with the college, um, work together, and maybe uh, expand our facility. And what kind of agreement would that be? Like, um, help us pay for it. <laughs> I mean, if um, they're going to want to use it, let's let's chip in together. Let's work as a team. Councillor Constance Casamento sees the cause of the overflow from a different perspective. If you concentrate four adults per unit and you max out every house and turn it into two units instead of one, then we probably do have um, more sewage in a small area. Councillor Casamento continued, saying she agreed with Mayor Randy Bateman, feeling that the meeting was premature due to a pending decision from the DEC and EPA. The long-term control plan is designed to minimize the sewage and the storm sewage. And that's what we did at East Side, we separated the two. And I don't know if I can know the number of millions of gallons a day that went down to them separated. The overflow problem from the West Side Wastewater for Treatment Plan's business is unfinished. Look for the developing story all this month. I'm Spencer Brill with WTOP 10.